Today we're expected to learn more about an organized carjacking ring that's been terrorizing people throughout Philadelphia. Eyewitness News reporter Ross DiMatteo joins us live outside the Roundhouse with what we know so far. Good morning, Ross. Good morning to you, Jim. Law enforcement sources tell CBS3 that they have traced some of these carjacked vehicles to shipping ports in Newark, New Jersey, and Wilmington, Delaware, where those stolen vehicles are then being exported overseas, some of them as far away as Africa. Those law enforcement sources also confirmed to Eyewitness News that one crew is responsible for more than three dozen carjacking cases all across the city, including one that took the life of a father of four in Northeast Philadelphia. Police say they do have a man in custody in connection with the deadly carjacking in Ronhurst on February 6th. 60 year old George Brissello was shot and killed during that carjacking on the 2100 block of Afton Street. Police now believe that same crew was responsible for another deadly carjacking less than a week later, this one on the 8100 block of Grover's Avenue in southwest Philadelphia. City Council Member Kenyatta Johnson is calling for a town hall tonight to confront the city's carjacking crisis. A lot of people just don't feel safe getting into their car and getting out of their cars. And so we're going to have an overview from the Philadelphia Police Department on how people can feel safe going to and from homes. And for me, that's very, very important. We are expecting to learn more about those two homicide cases and how they're connected to this larger carjacking ring during a press conference later on this morning. Philadelphia police will be joined by the DA, the mayor, and uh, local FBI officials, among others, to talk about this larger carjacking ring. That press conference gets started at 11 a.m., and you can watch it live streaming on CBS News Philly. We're live outside of the police roundhouse. Ross DiMatteo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And we'll be watching closely to see what comes out of that press conference. Ross, thank you for that update.